Hi, I'm Jenny, Benevolent Dictator at the Botany Bay. And after you've done stuff with the things you bought, we figured you could use some music. So we're happy to present to you Musical Musings, a showcase of local music, and Marissa is the host. Hey everyone, I'm Marissa Hempel, host of Musical Musings for WBON, and we are so happy to have Botany Bay sponsoring us. Now it's not necessarily a requirement that you have to buy stuff to do stuff with, but it is highly recommended. Right, Jenny? That's right. Visit us at 980 Commercial Drive in Richmond or 420 East New Circle Road in Lexington. All right. Are you guys ready? Here's another edition of Musical Musings. Welcome to yet another edition of Musical Musings, sponsored by Botany, De Botany Bay with two great locations, not only here in Richmond, but at 420 New Silver Road in Lexington. So I'm really excited. I'm Rose Hempel, your host, by the way, but I'm a little distracted because we've got really good young talent in here today, which I had no idea. When I first heard about this band, I was like, oh, they must be a bunch of old dudes because they like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I was wrong. They're very young and they're still in school, which is very impressive. Music majors. So I'm going to let them take it from here, but I definitely want to get some intros. So if you want to start off, Trevor, you're the lucky seat at number one. Tell us a little bit about yeah. yourself. Um, I'm, I'm from Montgomery County. Uh, I grew up with these knuckleheads over here. Oh, you <laughs> <call me> knucklehead. <laughs> we played music from like sixth grade until now. We've always been into music for some reason. It's just sparked our interest from a young age. Into uh, each other. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> No, probably not. Uh, so you, you've known them for a while. Oh, oh my God, yeah. yeah. I, I remember seeing both of them at, like, baseball stuff baseball, when I was, like, a ball, little, ball. little kid. And you're like, I need to avoid them. They are clearly No, trying. I was instantly like, who's that guy? And Aww. Like, yeah. This is like already from, becoming from a wonderful, like, Sixth bromance. Grade, man, we had homeroom together. And I was like, that was that's like, my dude. Trevor, we yeah. went to the high school, we played football or not high school, middle school dance. And came to my house Yeah, dude, I forget all about that sometimes. So it's been a while in the making. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Tristan, tell us about it. Tell us about yourself. Um, I'm also from Montgomery County, obviously. Um, yeah, kind of same thing. I mean, me and Trevor, I knew these guys basically the whole my whole life, mm -hmm. and played football with Trevor, played football with Sam, marching band, marching yeah. band with Sam. I mean, the story of me and Trevor or Sam is kind of the story of us because we've just kind of always grown up together yeah. and done everything. I mean, me and Trevor played in church for a while and then quit that, and we were in a band called Truancy in middle school. All of us. Uh, Truancy for middle school, yeah, that sounds so appropriate. We skipped too much class. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That was all it was. And that kind of faded out for a while, but then senior year we started Bedford and Company as like an indie band. Uh, it was just us three, Cajon, Acoustic, and Electric, no bass. Formed a bass, been through all kinds of changes, and now we're here as Bedford three years later with Colby on guitar, Trevor on guitar, Sam on bass, me on drums. Colby's missing, by the way. Yeah. Colby's right. And Sam, class. I was going to have you him. introduce yourself first. But, well, okay, you already let the cat out of the bag. Colby's gone. Is he murdered? Yeah. What's going on with no, that? No, we, we don't know. <laughs> no, he had um, he had a class because we're, we're still in school and everything at Moorhead. And, uh, yeah, he, had, he just had a late class tonight. But, hi, I'm Sam. <laughs> Thank you. I was just going to say, I was like, no one knows who you are. So you all go to Moorhead State. That's kind of mm -hmm. a big deal. So Sam, since I'm still stuck on you because you didn't really give me a good introduction, no offense, um, tell us Sorry. why you all chose. <laughs> I'm messing with you, by the way. No one gets my humor. It's far too dry. So I'm just going down. Um, tell us why you chose, you know, Moorhead State, music, all that. Well, we chose Moorhead State because originally we were going to UK, me and Trevor, and... Um, I think you were the one that, that decided to go to Moorhead yeah, first. Yeah, I, I Tristan. got in the honors program there, so yeah. I was like, that's, we were like, that's money. I'm well, we don't want to separate, yeah. and it's close to home. It's only 30 minutes away. I feel like you are like twins separated at birth then because you're like yeah. so tied to Our families are close. Like, yeah. it's it's kind of one big bandamoly. Bandmoly. Bandmoly. <laughs> family. What's the definition of that? Oh, okay. It's a band family. Band family. It's a portmanteau yeah. band family. <laughs> okay. Like, what did you just Sorry. Say? <laughs> Takes me a second sometimes. So awesome. Well, okay. Let's start off. Uh, Trevor, why don't you tell me what is your all's um, kind of influences? I know Led Zeppelin, which surprised me. Like, I was literally expecting men and beards until yeah. I did my research. I was like, oh, yeah. they're young. Yeah. Cool. Um, I would say that it as like we've just looked at the past 60 years of music and taken everything that we like out of it from CCR to Led Zeppelin to ACDC. ACDC at a young age. Loved Angus. Um, grunge, too. 
Yeah, we like grunge. I like some Motown. Right, so I don't get into bio. sticks oh, or like disco get. or anything like that. We just <laughs> skipped all that. Screw it. Um, <laughs> That's fine. We I mean, didn't get into. I didn't fun. get into country <laughs> until like this past year. Like country, Same. I was like, oh, country stupid. But then I started right. stop listening to the radio, and I started listening to some old like hits. Like Conway Twitty, that's my favorite. Okay, well then you're in good company because here in this station they love that kind of stuff. I personally am getting into country too, but I have a question that I need to settle right now because What's I'm that? a huge Led Zeppelin fan. So I'm just gonna hit you all with it. Okay. Favorite Led Zeppelin album? Go. Uh, two. One. Three. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I, like, I, I like respect all those. Two for me, House of the Holy as well. But yeah. three is very underrated. So Tangerines I'm, on that. Physical graffiti. That's my favorite yeah. song. Yeah, man. Into the Outdoor is not bad either. No, no one. I don't no think they have a really a bad one. No, I like Into the Outdoor. Is, it, is In Through the Outdoor? You don't like Coda, Coda right? I don't like Coda. Fool, Fool in the Rain That's, and a whole lot of. Or not I listen to Fool in the Rain um, every day, every day of my life. I say one because those are like 18, 19 year olds. I mean, it's, like it's so wrong. Jimmy Page is older, is. but I mean, those are kids, man, and they are still. And it's so raw. Nobody's telling them like, "Hey, you can't make your song that long." That's why. How many more times is ten minutes long? To me, Plus, I love it's unrestrained rock so. and roll. It's like whether you like the hard rock aspect of Led Zeppelin or you like their folk stuff. Yeah, that's what they're two saying. different things. Well, to I me. think like, three is like the perfect combination. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, but see, three is underrated. That's why I was very shocked that you said that. So, but I'm glad no one said four because I think four is way overrated. But I'm just gonna stop because it's we're wasting better. time. I want to hear your all's music. I could talk about classic rock and genres all day because this is like what gets me excited anyway i know you all have a song lined up and i was told i was told by a very confidential but very reliable source that you have this song called boneyard blues bone orchard orchard i'm sorry mm -hmm. i know oh, it's fun. totally did you dirty on that but i heard it's amazing <laughs> so i want to hear this one first and if you all are ready we're ready to go all right i gotta mm -hmm. tell a story first so all this, right this song i wrote the lyrics off of Facebook. So I was on there and there was like a ranker post about how these are words from the 30s that nobody uses. And so that's why it's Bone Orchard that's like a graveyard. And there's one thing, it's Wood, but wood Butcher's Jolt I Lie In and that's a carpenter's box, so it's a coffin. It's just was that English? I literally didn't Wood Butcher's Jolt I Lie it's like In. Wood Butcher's Jolt, Jolt is like a prison. So it's like... I've literally never heard that in my life. Like, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, that's it's just... All the words are like... Well, a lot of them are from like 1920s. Like archaic, yeah. yeah. They that's, spoke a different language back then. Yeah, that's why people are like, Say. what's it called? It's and here we are so. saying lit, and we're like, why don't, yeah. why don't people yeah. understand yeah. that? Yeah. I don't get that. So anyway, okay. yeah, let's do it. I respect that. Okay. All right, yeah, y'all are ready. Minor. I'm ready for this, if you guys are, and go ahead. This is Bone Orchard in A minor. minor. There's a place that I know where the prone bodies go and the crows croak and cry with the crow. And if you go, you go it alone. Twist a dream for your soul, for your
got on your your soul. to leave me speechless <laughs> but here I am and I have no words that was amazing <laughs> thank you thank you Loretta did you all well by saying that you guys <laughs> kill it so I would literally think especially Sam you're so soulful like I would think you're like literally a 50 year old man <laughs> yeah I mean I am in, nobody in really right? no really I mean I am a 50 year old man right but nobody knows it I got something. that was awesome <laughs> thank you so <laughs> You all killed it. I definitely see the the breakdown completely zap, for sure. Oh yeah. So let's talk about. We mentioned some country earlier, and how you had mentioned Trevor. You're recently getting country. I know in Kentucky specifically. That's all killing it. I mean, I'm just gonna mention Chris and um, Tyler. Tyler. Because, those are yeah, those are some of his Sturgeon. biggest influences. And it's really Why Sturgeon. is that? Because I can relate to him because I'm a little old Kentucky boy. Yeah. Doing something suburbs, suburbs, country. Really? He was the one that worked on the farm and did that shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, 
which I don't I don't really mm-hmm. profess to be country because like my personality really is like is you drinking L.A. I'm sorry I have to call you out but you're drinking in L.A. like how Kentucky is this right now <laughs> yeah. go I'll on Trevor L.A. is the only way to go um, right <laughs> I don't know I just never really liked all the other country people until I just grew up a little bit I guess mm-hmm. and then I was like well I can kind of see where they're coming from I still think a lot of it is for other people to like and enjoy but well there's a lot of animosity recently and I've noticed and you guys will probably all agree with mainstream country yeah, but, national yeah. but that country. outlaw Stat country mainstream. is good it's good yeah. like oh, yeah. there's some it outlaw is. I mean it's a new genre so let's just call it that you know mm-hmm. it's good stuff so the Chris Stapleton and Tyler Childress and uh, I consider them the Sturgill outlaws. Sturgill Simpson, they're the outlaws. Right. Now, I like Nash- Culture Wall. Am I wrong? Mm. Culture. Uh, okay, yeah, thank you. Because I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to make you all he's mad at me. He's got a good voice. Yeah, I yeah. love uh, the blacktop. Yeah. Yeah, but we tag, we, we talk about the Nashville. He scene. will. I saw it. Yeah. I know. I'm it's like awesome. interested on Facebook. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, okay. A lot of that's Americana, though. It is, and you know, we cover a lot of Americana here, and so we're definitely at home with that. So let's talk before we go into the next song. Let's talk about the Moorhead music scene because we were talking about that before, and I think there's kind of some misconceptions <coughs> because I personally would never think in a million years that Moorhead State would have a music scene. No offense, guys, that's just no, my ignorance. Wouldn't. It's uh, not you. No, no you would. I would. I thought the would. same thing. So tell us about it. Who wants to? Who I, wants to take it away? Well, <coughs> the Moor, Moorhead State University has a great music program. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's that's been around since. Moorhead's been around, really, since they've had the music program. But um, recently there have been, like, a lot of students coming to Moorhead because of the commercial music program. And that's pretty what much... What does that mean, commercial? Commercial like, music is, like, you learn everything about the music business. Okay. And you add a minor to that just to, like, specialize. But, I mean, that gets into it. It's but, really um, just, like, how to... Be a pro musician. How to be, kind yeah. How to be Here's a professional like, musician, and you how can to learn. Record, not just how to play. Mm-hmm. But yeah. You can, you learn how to record. You learn how to work in a studio. You learn how to how run to, a PA. How to run I a mean, PA. How yeah. to do all that stuff. And we and do these semester themed concerts yeah. where everybody in the program who's a commercial music has to play a song something and, on their instrument, and it's always a different theme. Like this is how we get our influences. So mm-hmm. the first one was Southbound, the Legends of Southern Rock. I've never been into anybody except what or uh, Leonard Skinner. Almond Brothers, I got them out of that. Oh the next gosh, semester yeah. was like Summer of Love, 1967. That, I fell in love with the Beatles. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just Hendrix, man. and Hendrix. That's when I got into Hendrix. So this semester we're doing it's the a perfect CD. major for what you would, what we're trying to do, mm-hmm. or anybody who's trying to like just start yeah. a band or be a solo career, because you don't have to learn it's, classical stuff. I mean, if you want to learn jazz, there's jazz, but it's for people who want to play like the pop stuff, which isn't this. Rock is pop, you know. It's like it's not jazz or classical. Uh, Unfortunately, pop. those are becoming like niche things, right? right now, which is still great, but but yeah, I mean, it's still necessary. People need to play that stuff. It's not doesn't need to be for, forgotten, but mm-hmm. at the same Sam, time, what were you saying, y'all? We're doing this semester. <coughs> oh, we're do, we're um we're all the recording. students are making a CD. We get in groups of four or five, and we get like three or four songs each. We're actually playing one of yours that you're writing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're playing one of mine tonight that we're writing. Or today. Like today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah not now tonight. Now stacked. It's like we got to, we have night class that we got to play. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah so do you all have another so song lined up? I we wish got, we had more time. Like I said, I could talk to you all. Do you want to play It's Temporary? Let's do a uh, thank you because you were saying like Trevor's influence in country and this right. is like the perfect song Well, there, that. that's a perfect segue. Yeah. If you all are ready, you know yeah. I'm ready. Oh, by the way, I should mention of course, we're sponsored by Botany Bay, which is wonderful. The place you can buy stuff to do stuff with. We got to give a shout out to them because they are amazing for getting this up and going. We had this dream to do this podcast because there's really not much not much that you can see in this area for local music, you know. So we got really excited. And then, of course, Botany Bay hopped right on, so they've been wonderful. Now I'm ready to play. But we just got to shout out to the higher power there. <laughs> All right, I'm ready when you guys are. Get that money. <laughs> Get that money. <laughs> Changing the world, or is the world changing me? I'm often blinded by everything I cannot see. I 
was low in the valley and caught in what could never be. Yeah, but these hard times living.
all. So we have to talk about the harmonies there because that was just – I'll just start with Trevor because you kind of took that one away. So how do you all work together to achieve such a <coughs> wonderful sound? Um, it's taken a long time. <laughs> were there, were there lots of like horrible like days in yeah, the basement? Yeah, like, of we course. Sound terrible. Anything oh, you do, you're yeah. going to fall on your like, face. Like, I don't think it definitely does. does. He's, he's I don't right. think anybody will right. ever have a clue how bad it used to be. <laughs> it, <Yeah>. And I <laughs> guarantee you that That's we'll always, when you we'll always that. say that too, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll 15 years later be like, man, you remember when we were kids? And now you just suck, man. Are we going to sound like that? I'll plan on it. On it. I'm not gonna. You will. You'll even be like, "Oh, remember that time we were on that podcast, man? We sucked." And then like, <laughs> you know, you'll be somewhere else, so that'll be good. But that's awesome. So, Trevor, since you kind of we were talking about the country influences, so tell us kind mm-hmm. of where all this came from for that last one. Um. Well, I was in Pikeville, and I just got done with a party, and uh, I was it's all good story to, start. Trying to get the hell out of Pikeville, <laughs> and I came back home, and I didn't get home until probably like four to five a.m. And I stayed up till probably seven writing it because I just had some song in my head. Um, it started on the porch of our old house when we first got to college. We just had the chorus, and then we ended up finding a way to make it all work. Was that the video that we made in your room on your bed? Yeah. 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 This yeah. is so lo-fi. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, as far as the words go, Tristan helped me kind of iron them out and stuff. The the you you thank you that we had that from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Of, then Who do you all sound like with those harmonies? I'm drawing a blank right now. Like Bedford. Well, okay, <laughs> yes, but we have to give a That's shout to those that came before. Uh, Eagles. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I can't Just quite place it. I mean, that's the only band I can think of. Other than like Steels, Cosby, and Nash, or that's what it is. Thank you. Yes, CSNY. Yes, yeah. which I'm a huge fan. Oh by yeah, the way. yeah, me too. Now, I had to do a shout-out, too. We're talking about ACDC, and I see you have an SG, so I do. very yeah. nice. Very mm-hmm. nice. Well, it's just like Santana plays one, Derek Trucks plays one. Clapton. Clapton's got the oh, psychedelic Clapton. one with the dragons and stuff on it. Uh, Page played one. Mary Ford. Even even Les Paul, the guy who made Les Paul, played an SG first. Did he? Okay. Yeah. That's what they called a Les Paul at first. And then they were like, let's change it up a little bit. So then... This is just means solid guitar. Super guitar. <laughs> or super. Is that really what it stands for? Solid See, guitar. See, I'm always like yeah. SG. I'm thinking Angus Young, like ACDC. I think if like, there's people out there and they're like, that's totally wrong. I, I won to Les Paul when I was like 13, <laughs> more than anything. So, Tristan, you are like the PR guy. So, why don't you give a plug where people can find more of your music? Okay. Um, well, Facebook, we got Bedford Band Official on there. Like, if you just type in Bedford Band, it'll probably pop up. It's just it does, yeah. yeah. I did. I freaked you um, off. Instagram, Bedford Band Official. Uh, we don't have a Twitter. Um, we do bu- have an album, though. We do have an album, yeah. That would right, be, thank you. W- thank yeah, you, Yeah, listen to, um, it's on Spotify, yep. iTunes, all that stuff. Yep. Um, Those two songs that we played today are on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, content is what it's called. Exactly, and that just came out the end of last year, right? So mm-hmm. this is still very fresh. It's our, it's, yeah, yep. we recorded some stuff in high school, but... We prefer not to talk about it because it was much yeah, different. Yeah, that was a different band. Does basically. anyone want to talk about what happened in high school? <laughs> Probably not. Nope. No, we'll just no. leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. I've blocked that part is, out of my brain. <laughs> yeah. But we, we're proud of it. I mean, but, we, yeah. it, it's a year in the making, so a lot of that, like, we listen back, we're like, man, I'm much better than I was when I recorded that. But yeah. I feel like everyone says that. Yeah, yeah if, if you you're wanna, not getting better, then what are you? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Plateau. So. I don't want to. So, Sam, you mentioned um, those two were on content. Mm-hmm. You all have one more song for us, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Is this, this is one on content, too, or is this, this a special? This song is a fresh song. It's a Ooh. new baby of ours. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're writing a lot. Yeah, we just started writing more songs. What's this one called? This one's called It's Temporary. Okay. Let me <laughs> pull up these words on my phone. See, that's always the best. Snake. Like, I was at a show recently, and he brought up the lyrics on his phone. There I'm like, this go. is what I'm all about. Y'all good? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, let's hear it's temporary. Sure, you, you start it. I'm going to take a drink of your Wawa. <laughs> H2O. H2O.
at Capture, Kentucky. He wrote an article about content, and that was the head Old Souls, Youthful Energy. Really? Did he? That's okay, the, I know who he is, yep, that's and what the title I had was. no idea. Yeah, Old Souls, Youthful Energy. Awesome. Well, that's that's what I feel, and I'm, like, I always say I'm an old soul, too, so, like, I get, like, Sam was saying, like, I feel like I should have been born 30 years before. You guys definitely should have been. You're in the wrong generation, but I'm, I'm glad you're here, because mm-hmm. we need more of this. So, how old are you all? Tell us real quick. 21. Trevor? 21. Tristan? 21. So y'all just started drinking? Just started? Yeah. Yeah, we just started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're new to it. We're about yeah. noon today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mean an hour ago, right? That's it's totally fine. This music, this is how it is. So I am very impressed with you guys, for real. I'm Thank you. so glad we crossed paths. You are awesome. I definitely hear the 
influences. I'm all about it. So is there anything else you all want to share? Because unfortunately, we have to wrap this up, you know, this T-shirt. wonderful podcast we do. But I want, like, closing thoughts. Obviously, we're sponsored by Botany Bay yet again, which everyone here is a fan of, apparently. So we're, you're in mm-hmm. good company, everybody. Mm-hmm. Right. But, yep. you know, let's start with Trevor. Is there anything you kind of want to close with? Like, what are your future plans? Do you all have shows coming up? This won't be out till March. But, you know, anything kind of going on? Come to our shows, which we got two this weekend, which Tristan's going to go into more detail about. Come to a show, buy a CD, buy a shirt, rep our band. Because no one makes money off music anymore, right? I mean, right. it's a sad fact of life. I mean, the streaming just messed everything. Right, you get like 0.01 of a cent from other artists. Peter Frampton yeah, got like fifteen hundred dollars for like ten million Baby streams I of Baby mm-hmm. I Love Frampton, Your Way. who's like the best Frampton. guitarist. Like, yeah. he mm-hmm. deserves yeah. like a dollar at least per yep. stream. Yep. That's at why I do. That's, I say at if a, like if an artist deserves my money, I'm gonna buy their album. Right. One hundred percent. But see, that's why I go to shows because I'm like, I know y'all ain't getting money, so I'm like, I'm gonna go see you live. Yeah. <laughs> more, more of that. It's it's just about getting talked about for us. Yeah. Like, it's money. Like, the gigs pay us good enough. You know, we that's gradually gotten better and better. I mean, we bring people to our shows. It's just we're trying to expand, you know, and we just want to be – that's Tell why we friends. do stuff like this. Get the word out, man. Tell your friends. That's it. Right, and that's kind <laughs> of what, what I want with y'all's closing statements. So, Tristan, kind of you already touched it, but <coughs> where are you all – you you all have played as far as, like, Tennessee and West Virginia, right? So, like, mm-hmm. this weekend we're at The Rock with – Mojo Thunder and Sour Cream, and then Saturday we go up to Hamilton, Ohio, and spend the night up there. That's two and a half hours away. Go to have fun with that. Yeah, at North Second Tap, the bottle. I don't know if you know that, but um, like we're playing everywhere. The two biggest shows I would say I don't know when this will come out, but March seventeenth, we got asked to do uh, Capture Kentucky's doing a CCR tribute show. Right. And we're the house band for that, so we got to learn like forty CCR songs in less than a month. How are all these people going to feel with these young bloods? Are you going to give CCR the recognition it deserves? Uh, yeah. I, think so. I mean, It'll I know you fun. will, obviously. It'll be fun. But. I'm excited. But, yeah, that. And then April 28th, that's the uh, Capture Kentucky uh, annual anniversary mm-hmm. thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Show. yeah. Is that, that in the Starlight? That, yeah. Is that in Johnny Austin Conquery. City? Yeah, yeah. Conquero. Is that Austin City? Mm-hmm. Is it? Both okay. of those are Austin City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the best way, just follow us on Facebook. You'll see all that stuff. Right, social media is where it's Website yep. coming soon. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, I mean, let's be honest. Social media is first at this point. Yeah, it know? is in, yeah. in the world. Yeah. So, I do too, Sam. Trust me. Mm. But, again, old soul. But we're not going to get into that because <laughs> I will get fired up. So, <laughs> Sam, closing statements. Anything else you want to add? Come see us. Come see one of our shows. Um... We're real excited for every show that we get, obviously. But we put we I think we put on a good show, and I think if you come out, you're gonna love us. When do y'all we'll graduate, by the way? <laughs> Spring. <laughs> That's the answer. I I'll, I'll, I'll graduate <laughs> next May. Next May. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Next May. Next May. I'm gonna okay. be honest. I didn't do good my first two semesters. Partying. <laughs> Problems but, of your own making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still partying. Um, just gotten better at partying now. That's fine. You know. But y'all are doing what you love, and that's what's oh. awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. I None of us really worry about it. Like, no I got really. plans to go to law school, but I'm probably going to do it online or something. Because this kind of, in everybody's mind in the band, I think this is, comes first for a while. Just mm-hmm. until we give it a real shot. We should mention, Love by the way, right yeah, Colby. Every- poor Colby missed out on this. So let's give one more shout to Colby. May he rest wherever he is. He's I probably listening Colby, in some way. So would it have been any different if Colby was here to add his guitar? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, he's the sprinkles and stuff. Not the sprinkles. Like, you got meat and taters and then yeah. like <laughs> And he just adds a little bit something extra. Yeah, yeah he's the yeah. Those two are the spice. Ooh, okay. I'm yeah. cumin. No, I'm ginger and he's like <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Okay. Paprika. Because I taste yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh my God, <laughs> all right, I'm kicking y'all out now. We're out. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's not wrong. No, you Whoa. all are absolutely awesome. I am so happy you came out here on this wonderful day to do this because mm-hmm. I'm just still like I'm like amazed with the soul. So, Thank you. but for another edition of Musical Music, sponsored by Bonnie Bay, so glad to have Bedford Band here. You want to check them out? They're clearly touring pretty much everywhere in Central Kentucky. You can find them anywhere. Look them up on Facebook, Bedford Band Official. I already found them and creeped them. There's tons of good information. They've got videos, everything you need to know, when their shows are coming up, all that good stuff. So for another edition of Musical Musings with WBON, I'm Marissa Hempel.